Hey, you guys. <laughs> Literally me. I'm Bunny. Sometimes I buy stuff, sometimes I say stuff, and sometimes I do stuff. Ugh, if you can hear anything in the background, my neighbors are getting like some, I don't know, like there's so many machines blowing out there and I, I can't help it. YouTube doesn't sleep, you know? Anyway, we are here because I'm about to tell you about my Timu saga. Okay, so you know Temu, Timu, Temu. It's taking over YouTube. Everybody is doing these unbagging videos. It's like crazy. I have done two of them myself. I will link those in the description box if you want to check those out. One was a first random item thing. The next one was makeup, dupes, whatever. If you get over a thousand views on a Timu channel, they kind of reach out to you and they're like, hey, you all want to get some stuff if you do some videos. So at first I was like, oh, the YouTube market is saturated with Temu videos. I'm kind of not interested, but the lady was like kind of really pushy and was like, hey, please, we'll send you stuff. So originally in the email that they sent me, they were going to send me $70 worth of things. And the stipulation was you had to do three full length YouTube videos, two shorts, and two posts, which I talked about in my Get Ready With Me video that I felt like that was a little bit of a steep ask for $70 worth of stuff. Now, mind you, you're not getting the 30% off on this $70 stuff like that everyone else is getting when they sign up. Which, when you don't have the 30% off, $70 doesn't get you very much if you're looking for actual stuff that you want to use. Well, I kind of contemplated it back and forth. I was like, oh, it's a lot of work, like for, you know, not so much stuff, especially like I don't need any more junk in my house. But I went ahead and said, okay. The problem is, is when they actually sent me the link to pick out the stuff, they only sent me $50 worth of things. And then after I did pick out the $50 worth of things, I waited like a week and then I got an email text that was like, oh, by the way, we canceled all of the items that you ordered. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I wrote the rep and she was like, oh yeah, so sorry about that. Let me send you another link and you can pick out the stuff again. Well, I had spent so much time picking out that original stuff because I kind of centered my videos around certain themes. And then when they sent me that link, I couldn't get, like I couldn't search for the things. So it ended up just being a fiasco. Also, the first time I picked out the $50 worth of stuff, I could, didn't have enough things to actually do videos. So I ended up having to spend like $40 of my own money to, for supplement items that I couldn't get with the link that they sent me. So it was really like I was out of $40 of my own stuff. I did get some things that I'm using right now, but then I had to go through it all again. And it was just, it was just, it's a mess. But here I am, I'm going to do a couple videos of the stuff that I did get because I did get $50 worth of stuff. And that's, you know, the agreement. I don't know if I'm going to do the full range of things that they asked for, because in my eyes, they didn't really hold up to their end of the bargain from the start. But here we go. Here is a Timo video for ya. Full disclosure, I've actually opened up the packages and took everything out and actually like used the stuff so that I could give you some be real of stuff like actually being used. But I did get like two Timo bags. So I mean, like I will have some videos coming up, but I mean, let's just, let's take it as it goes. All right, I'm gonna move over here because I'm gonna try and find the Timo post of the actual item that I bought. And then we'll overlay some really pretty video of the stuff that I actually did use. If you couldn't tell by the thumbnail, this is actually just all bathroom items because I thought maybe that would be interesting and some people would be interested in those items rather than some just random crap that, you know, I don't need anymore in my house. Okay, the very first thing that I wanna talk about is a bathroom nightlight. I know, so exciting, right? This thing is actually pretty cute. I can't remember how much I paid for it. It was like $2 and something. I'll pop it you know, up and you can see it. But um, it did come in the pack like this. So when I opened it out of the Timu box, I was kind of like, oh, that's nice. It's like kind of a smashed box. <laughs> However, I will say I actually do like this nightlight for the price that I paid for it. They had like an array of colors. I just wanted the plain soft white. And what this is is a nightlight that you plug into an outlet and it's actually censored so that when you turn 
the light off, it automatically turns on to the brightness that it needs to be. And then when you turn the light on, it actually turns off because you don't need it anymore. It does look really nice in the bathroom. It gives off a nice soft glow. It's like great amount of light for like if you get up in the middle of the night and have to use the bathroom. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this one. I uh, can't, you know, guarantee that I'm going to link these things down below because I'm just lazy. Plus, this just sells out all the time and you have to find something similar. So I would just go on and search nightlight and you can probably find it. All right, the next thing that I wanna talk about, I actually got two of them, so I have an extra one to show you. This is like a little stick on storage box. <laughs> this was only like 98 cents, so I was actually like, you know, kind of excited to use it. It is a little cheaper than I thought it would be, but 98 cents, team ooh, you know. This is like a little storage box that I think a lot of people would use things for like Q-tips or cotton balls or something, but it's just a little plastic box that has a drawer kind of built into it it does come with the sticky strips i did not use the sticky strips i used 3m command strips because i don't want to ruin anything if i ever want to take this thing off but what we used it for was i put it next to the toilet paper in my bathroom because my husband has these like little single kind of cleaning wipes you know just when you want to be like extra fresh and uh they were just kind of like stuck on the top where like all the razors and stuff are and i was like let me get a little thing to like kind of you know store those and um you know a couple of them fit in there and they look really really good and so for 98 cents i'm not too mad about this i do think this would be cute if you bought a bunch of them and put them in the grid and then you had like you know like i said q-tips or whatever it is in here i i think it's cute for 98 cents all right the next thing in the bathroom is a beautiful uh, yes i said beautiful <laughs> i picked out a shower curtain I, this is probably my favorite out of everything. I really do like the way the shower curtain looks. It's got kind of the botanical, new agey look. The color is really pretty. I do think that the material is a little bit kind of polyester-y. Like I would have rather it been like kind of an actual like cotton material, make it feel like more luxurious. Because I think like the $13 or $12 price point, I feel like I could get something like that similar at like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls so that might have been a little bit more high quality. However, I do feel like it looks really good in the bathroom it's very pretty it's light i i am enjoying this one it did come with a pack of really cheap shower curtain rings so if you need those that's cool but i had really nice metal ones from my last one so i just went ahead and hung it with that but i am very happy with that purchase now i do want to say that everything that i've showed you so far the night light the storage box and the shower curtain i bought with my own money that was part of the stuff that i couldn't pick out with the $50 that they sent me. So I did pay for all of those. The one thing that I did get from the $50 that they sent me was a bathroom rug. The problem with this bathroom rug is I got one that I didn't order. <laughs> I actually ordered what they called the pebble pattern, which was supposed to be a gray with like pebble, like a screen print of like rocks. So, so it looked like pebbles, but it was like a flat screen print, like on a rubber mat. But they ended up sending me this like lacking kind of gray. It's supposed to be gray marble and gold lining. And uh, as you can see from the video here, the gray is actually more pink. Um, it doesn't read very well uh, in real life as a gray. It looks more like a kind of sickly pink. And the gold lines are not actually gold. They are like a fluorescent yellow. So not too happy about that. <laughs> especially since that was supposed to be one of my PR items that I got. So um, I'm using it for this video, but it is probably going to get changed out and I'll probably end up putting that one like in my garage or something because I just, I don't know, I'm not really keen on the pattern, especially because I did not pick that one out. 
So that's all I got for today's Temu video. I, again, it was really hard to pick things that I would actually use with the system that they give you to pick out the items and then the amount of money that they give you for said items. So you know I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is not like, oh, I'm so happy that I got to pick out some stuff. I'm doing it because I said I would and you'll have a couple other things like coming forward just so that I can keep up at least a little bit of my end of the bargain. But yeah, like happy with some of the items, don't get me wrong, but like I just, you know, it's a 50-50 thing for me. It's kind of like some of the DH gate things that I, you know, talk about or Shein or Wish or whatever. It's kind of like, look, you're paying like this really cheap price. You probably will get surprised most of the time, but there are gonna be some times where I could have just got this stuff at the Dollar Tree, you know. All right, with all that positivity being said, <laughs> I do have a link down below. If you wanna go shopping, please use that link. I don't know what it means. I don't know if they track, if you like, use it and they're like, oh, Ugly Bunny's getting some traction or whatever. But I also have a code that will save you 30% off of your purchase. And then side note, let's just talk about the, you know, new email creation to use a code again, because I've done it several times. But yeah, that'll save you 30%. Also, if you're an existing customer and you, you know, can't use a code, I think that if you put my code in there, I don't know if it'll save you some money, but it'll definitely track to me. So if you want to support your bunny, go ahead and use that code. I'll put it in the description box, you know. That's all I have for you today, guys. If you could please like this video, it really does help me out. Or thumbs down it if you just think that I am being very ungrateful. <laughs> I don't care, I like what I like. Comment down below if you like any of these items or if you're excited to see more of my very honest move videos. Or comment down below if you have an item that you ordered that you really, really liked or were really disappointed by. And if you could subscribe so you can follow all of my antics, cause there are some, that would be awesome. I love you so much. I will see you on the next one.